going on guys? Etiko from the Etiko World Network here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire music highlight where we look at music from Ruby and Sapphire and highlight the best of the best, our favorite parts, and what we're most anxious to see get remade for the remakes coming in November. Anyways, today's winning comment goes to none other than Ervin Everen012 who says, can you do a review on the champion theme? I just love the memories and the adrenaline that it gives you when you finally fight a master. When you realize you finally a master. You're finally a master. You can work on grammar a little bit, Everen, but um, yeah, still. Um, the song also has to be the best to live up to the legendary fight at the end of every game. You got a damn good point. Now in Ruby and Sapphire, I don't know if you guys remember, but you fight Steven Stone, who is the champion of the whole region, and um, this should be an interesting theme. I haven't heard it. Like, you guys need to understand that with all these themes, I haven't heard them in a while, and the first time that I play them on camera is the first time that I played them in a very long time. So, you know, my memory will be refreshed along with you guys, in a sense, you know, even though I kind of already know these songs. Anyways, we're going to be looking at the full song. Let me know your favorite parts, the timestamps below, and then we'll be looking at a remix, the most popular one. Let's get started with this, man. Oh, yeah, that's start. That part. Oh, I can see them putting some pudding on. This whole song is amazing, yo. I'll give it to this. Oh, shit. The hype is real. The hype is real. Like, you guys saw, like, <laughs> damn, when, when that song starts, man, I remember when I, actually, I don't remember the exact moment, but I, I can just remember the emotions from that moment when first going against Steven like that. Cr <laughs> Memories, dude. Memories. But, um, the theme is amazing just for the fact that it keeps you on your toes for the entire song. Like, there's no time where there's, like, a quiet moment. Like, the whole thing is in your face the entire time. But, like, what I was trying to say while I was listening to the, the song in the middle of dancing and shit, I was trying to say to you guys that it would be amazing if they were somehow able to, like, put an orchestra. Like, you know, instead of the... Instead, they could put, like, a... Like, you know, like, kind of put, like, um, you guys know how the whole, like, opera singer type vocal thing goes, right? I can see them, like, replacing some of the sounds in that theme with, like, you know, opera singers to just make it sound more epic, you know? Kind of the same way that gets his theme sounded in um, X and, no, in Black and White and Black and White 2 with the whole, this this and then the, oh, like, I, I love it. Like, when, when. When songs implement the whole opera singing type thing, I I dig it, man. I don't even know if it's called opera singing, but you know, the the vocals, then it sounds amazing. Kind of like the same way the Final Destination theme sounds of Super Smash Brothers, you know, like the oh, so far, like that. I don't know. Is it just me? Is, am I am I weird for noticing that and how epic it sounds? I think it's just me. I, I think I must be like a weirdo for noticing that they have opera singers in certain songs and like getting hype off of it. It just makes it sound that much more epic. But um, anyway, so we listened to the original. 
The hype levels, I'll give you an 8 out of 10 champion theme. You know, I'm expecting it. No, 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 fuck that. You're getting a 9 out of 10. But then again, I know for a fact, there's no way that Game Freak can mess this up. There's no way that you guys can make the remake sound worse than the original. It's impossible. The remake is going to sound phenomenal. I already know, so I'm not even going to tell you guys how to do it. Do your damn thing, but you get bonus points from me if you manage to add the opera scene. It's like, oh, 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 like if you do that, I'll buy three copies. <laughs> Anyways, um, now let's look up a remix. And the most popular remix comes once again from the Poké Remix Studios. These guys are everywhere, man. Let's, let's see how this sounds. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So start. <laughs> I don't think this will start too much, but hey, we'll see where it happens. Woo! Oh, shit. They threw in the 90s. They threw in the 90s drum beat in the background. That's my favorite drum beat to put in any song. Oh, shit. Woo. I love it. I love the 90s drums, man. I love it. That's what I call it. I don't know if it's called 90s drums, but I love it. Give it to me. Give it to me. I love it. I love it. What are the comments saying on this, man? Get on the hype train. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, Pokemon Remix Studios, man. Like, I don't know. Somebody told me it's just one dude. But Pokemon Remix Studio, y'all don't fuck around, man. This is a serious remix. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, one thing I'll give it. One comment said it's a little bit too calm. The song is not really, I wouldn't say it's calm, but it's not as hype as the original. But it's still amazing with that drum line in the background, that drum line, that, 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 that shit blows it out the water. Now, if only the instruments, like, for example, if they were more in your face, like the original theme, on top of the drum line, then you got it. Like I said in the beginning, the song's a little relaxed. A little relaxed. Not to the point where it ruins it, but it's a little relaxed. I can't see this remix being used in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but it's a nice perception on the way the theme could sound. You know, I like it, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near what's actually going to be remade, you know? Very nice, though. This is a long remix, goddamn. Yeah, like I said, so um, basically the remix, it raises, actually it doesn't really raise my hype level, my hype level is still like an 8 out of 10, but um, the remix is an interesting take on how it could sound. I mean, I like the drum line once again, they did really good with that, I just think that the song isn't as in your face as it should have been, especially considering the original, how much it was just boom, dum, 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 like it was just coming at you, you know, all those sounds at one time. But still a great remix nonetheless. Poké Remix Studios, you guys get props. Well, you get props, apparently. It's just one nigga. But um, yeah, man, I, I really like it either way. And um, I, like I said before, it's an 8 out of 10 on the hype scale. I'm looking forward to hearing this theme remade. And um, let me know what you guys think about this theme as well. You know, Let me know your favorite parts with the timestamp down below. What do you guys think of the Poké Remix, um, Poké Remix Studio remix? And um, I'll talk to you in the next video. And also, leave a comment below letting me know what Ruby and Sapphire theme you want to hear in the remakes. And potentially, your comment could get chosen, and we'll be able to see what your song would sound like, or at least speculate. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.